There has been much conjecture about the prospect of burning all of the XRP now held in escrow as the XRP community draws nearer to an event that might fundamentally alter the game. The outcome of the game could be drastically altered by this development. It is possible that this tragedy could drastically change the game. Currently, it is estimated that approximately 5,000 XRP are being burnt daily. The equivalent of burning 1.82 million XRP coins would be this. There is growing concern that this pace is increasing since some experts have claimed that up to 25,000 XRP are being burnt daily. The notion that this rate is rising has grown as a result of this. This has contributed to the widespread belief that this rate is on the rise. The claims state that the conduct under investigation are related to Ripple escrow counts. When was this situation aligned with Ripple Labs' recent declaration that it will repurchase XRP valued at about $1 billion from its existing inventory? The parallels between the two occurrences suggest that a coincidence has taken place. Many have therefore begun to speculate that Ripple's settlement with the SEC, together with this acquisition and the potential escrow burn, is related to the fact that Ripple need XRP. The probability of the escrow burn is high, hence this is necessary. Given that Ripple Labs is developing an increasing number of partnerships and that they require XRP to maintain these collaborations, a value of 10 XRP could be necessary for Ripple Labs to continue and expand its operations as XRP is inherently necessary for these endeavors. This is due to the fact that Ripple Labs cannot continue operations without XRP. This necessity arises because Ripple Labs cannot carry out its operations in the absence of XRP. Reason for this necessity is that Ripple Labs can't continue operations without XRP. One possible explanation for Ripple's meteoric rise to prominence would be the growing influence of its global partnerships and their reliance on digital money. You should give this some thought. This is the right approach to discuss things. It is necessary to carry out this task in light of this particular proposition. Ripple is increasing its activities around the globe as demonstrated by multiple recent publications, some of which have leaked while others have been made public. Several scholarly articles have demonstrated this. These sources have released proof that points to Ripple as the perpetrator of this dissemination. The fact that XRP can be used for cross-border transactions is supported by the Central Bank of Ireland's statement, which is a strong indicator of XRP's reliability and value as a payment method. That this is a correct statement is obvious. With the launch of XRP for its worldwide payment solutions, the Worldwide Central Bank of Japan has joined a larger movement of over 30 central banks actively cooperating to create a central bank digital currency. This exemplifies a smaller part of the broader shift that is currently underway. This move is part of a larger initiative in which over 30 different central banks are taking part. Our current course of action is the correct one to take. The global trend that this occurrence exemplifies is not limited to just one location. The Federal Reserve's proposal to acquire full ownership of XRP in Ripple Labs is being overstated, which is reflective of the aforementioned trend. The significance of the proposition cannot be emphasized enough. The goal of the proposal was to get full ownership of both businesses. Given the scope of the idea, it would be difficult to overstate the importance of what this claim provides. This prohibition, which aims to prevent B from being used in retail purchases of XRP currency, is affecting the current financial scene in a significant way. Because of this shift, the current financial climate is getting considerably more complex. The changes in the environment are a direct result of the action being taken. The action is responsible for these shifts. The Federal Reserve plans to create a traditional digital currency using the Ripplenet system, a digital asset that utilizes the XRP ledger. The objective of the Federal Reserve is this, by following these procedures you can fully enjoy the numerous advantages of the Ripplenet system, such as its affordability, efficiency, and eco-friendliness. Doing so is essential for making the most of those advantages. In light of this, the Federal Reserve can take use of the numerous benefits offered by the Ripplenet system. The fact that the Federal Reserve, which is now known as the Quick Payment Network, is looking at the prospective usage of XRP to manage the blockchain component of their payment system demonstrates the increasing faith in the technology of XRP and its practicality for financial applications. Plus, it proves that XRP is useful for the financial apps that are being developed right now. This would lead one to believe that XRP is becoming more popular among market participants. As a result, faith in the technology is growing, as does anticipation of its usefulness in cutting-edge financial applications. If Ripple is successful, FedNow might integrate it into its service in the near future. If this were to happen, it would be a giant leap forward in the long-term goal of combining traditional banking with decentralized finance. 
The price of XRP might potentially reach $10,000. There are two primary factors at work in the market that could lead to this outcome. For instance, there is always the chance that Ripple Labs escrow may be burned, which could lead to a mass burn of XRP or even a large-scale burn. Both of these things are necessary for a substantial possibility to exist. Both of these factors are contributing elements of the circumstance that are exacerbating the problem. The massive loss of XRP from Ripple Labs escrow could perhaps be the catalyst that causes XRP to surpass the forecasted $10,000 price barrier. This makes sense. One could argue that this is a real possibility. And we may have the remarks given by Matt Hamilton, who was Ripple's former director. Because of their statements, this possibility has surfaced. Because it shows that a burn like this could be part of a future settlement deal, this piece of information is quite significant. The reason behind this is that it gives the impression that the agreement could contain such a burn. Why? Because the Securities and Exchange Commission has joined Ripple in a legal battle. Here is the scenario. An extraordinary demand for XRP from both retail buyers and large financial institutions would push its price past $10,000 in the event of a sharp reduction in the supply of the cryptocurrency. This is what would happen if the supply of XRP was drastically reduced. More and more evidence suggests that these investors are thinking about exploring the potential of using digital assets like XRP to conduct international financial transactions. Each XRP currency would be worth more due to a major drop in the supply of XRP. This effect would be brought about by the degeneration that was previously discussed. As a result, this would be one of the outcomes. This organization is known as the International Swaps and Derivatives Association, or ISDA for short. For the ISDA to handle the over $1.2 quadrillion in transactions each day, a fee of $10,000 per XRP is necessary. One of XRP's unique features is the expectation that it will be able to handle an enormous volume of transactions. The previously given figure does not account for the likelihood that SWIFT will make payments using XRP. Things like the goals that Singapore Airlines has set for increasing XRP remittances across Southeast Asia and the massive acquisitions that major banks like JP Morgan and BlackRock will complete before the year ends.